This is Optum Finance new Cardano lending and borrowing protocol that focuses specifically on high dollar amount ADA. Huge, huge ADA transactions. You can do a 500K ADA bond, a 1 million ADA bond, and a $1.5 million bond. The current uh, use case for this is stake pool operating bonds where stake pool operators, if you're a small, small, single stake pool, you can bootstrap your stake pool by borrowing a million ADA and having it as like the pledge, which is what the owner of the stake pool contributes to a stake pool to make this pool more attractive, produce more blocks, you know, get luckier, stuff like that. This protocol just went live on the mainnet today, so we're going to take a look at it, jump right in and show you the features. Now, so this is the Optum Finance webpage. If you want to get to the proper webpage, there's some, you know, there's obviously always a possibility of going to the wrong webpage. What I would do is I would go to this Optum Finance Twitter account, Optum Fi. Now you see here in Optum Fi right here in their Twitter handle, there's no uppercase I's or lowercase L's. That's something you should watch out for because scammers can use that to trick you. So be careful of that. But this is this is Optum Finance. Click this link right here. It'll take you right to their website. Now, this is the Optum Finance website. And if you want to go to their D app, you want to click liquidity bonds. My face is kind of covering a little bit right here. This is how you get to the D app liquidity bonds in the top right corner. So this is the main Optum Finance. This is their D application, their D app on Cardano. And you can see currently right here, we are in the stake pool operating section. I think my assumption would be that as they roll out the other features like real world asset vaults and strategy vaults, those will be other drop downs that you can access here. But currently they only have these stake pool operating bonds or liquidity bonds. The first thing we see when we get here, this is our dashboard. There's dashboard bonds, your page and learn. Dashboard. I did have to use the learn. We're going to go over that. There's some things I wasn't quite sure what was going on, but the dashboard is the first thing. You can see current total protocol has a total value locked of 35,000 ADA, and that is for these two bonds that are currently live right now. Uh, you can see total active bonds are zero because no bond has been fully executed. So I'm assuming once a bond gets fully executed, it'll go to an active bond. We can see currently we have two active O pools that you can provide liquidity to. And an O pool, this is where I had to use the learn functionality, but an O pool is basically a bond that's being filled. Now I want to show the bonds so we can see hot pools. There's only two, so they're both going to be in the hot section. Um, but the first one we have right here is Silobyte Pool Ticker PSB, and we have uh, Data Data Dine Earth Pool Ticker DTDN. So we're going to click right into here. Here, if you want to buy the bond, pledge some ADA to it, you can do that here. But first, let's click the details. So let's make sure we're getting a good deal, right? So as a lender, this is me, a lender, you can click lender or borrower to see both options and what both people are earning. But as a lender, that means I want to lend my ADA to this person. You can see here, there's this is a bond for 72 epochs at the maximum, which is about 360 days. So it's about a year, 12 months. And you can see that they're asking to borrow 1 million ADA from lenders. We can see here that they're also willing to pay a lending annual percent yield of 5.33%. So if you take a uh, 1,000 ADA and distribute it to this bond, you will earn 5% on the ADA at the time that you pull that 1,000 ADA back out. The max duration of this bond, 72 epochs, says right here, this, it's the maximum duration. So, uh, you know, at any point in time, like the loan could default or there's, a, you know, they could close the bond, but the maximum is going to be about that 12-month range. There is an interest buffer, meaning that this bond has interest to pay lenders for six epochs, which is like one month basically. And then the interest value is going to be 52,000 ADA in total. The last thing we have is our premium paid. This is what the, the owner of this bond has already paid 12 epochs worth of interest. So we're guaranteed to get those 12 epochs if the loan defaults. Um, so that's already paid as kind of like an interest prepayment buffer. Then we have this one interesting thing down here, uh, future airdrops. Um, and if you hover over this dot, it says two OPT or bond tokens. So what I think this means is it, it says, um, it says right here, rewards distributed at a later yet unspecified date to users redeeming bond tokens, amount annualized and given pro rata on duration of the loan. So I think kind of what this means is like if you as a lender provide, um, if you as a lender provide ADA to one of these bonds, you receive one of the, some of the 10,000 bond tokens for the specific loans. This right here is the total amount of bond tokens associated. So if you provide 
ADA to a bond, you get some bond tokens, your appropriate percentage allocation of how much you provided to the bond. And then I think what will happen is if you either hold bond tokens or if you redeem bond tokens to get your ADA plus interest, you will be eligible for future airdrops is what that makes it sound like. Now, if I were to come in here and just like connect my wallet, um, yes, not me. So if I were, if I connect my wallet to the Optum Finance D app, you can see right here, I have the option to deposit to this Opal, um, or I don't, you know, I don't, can't withdraw, but I can have the option to deposit. Currently 3% funded with 36,000 ADA deposited, um, but really they're looking to get that 1 million. Now, if we go back to the Opal's page, we can look at the other one real quick. They're looking to gather one and a half million ADA. They're looking to also pay 5.33%, uh, maximum time of about a year worth of ADA lockup. And then the total that they're going to pay to people is 78,000 ADA. Um, and they've already paid their 12 epochs with a six epoch buffer. So, you know, it's just about the same situation. They're just looking for a little bit more capital to raise their stake pool. Other options we have here is we can go into the bond section. It is just kind of like the same thing, but just some more condensed version. Your page will show you your pool positions in the in the O pools, your bond positions, you know, of active bonds once they go active, and then how I'm guessing this will accumulate your um, based on what kind of positions you have in active bonds when they expire. This will show you how much you've earned compared to how much you put in. They also have this learn tab where you can come in here and learn about all these things. I had to use it because I didn't know what uh, like Opool was. It's just, it's like the bond before it goes active. And then I didn't know what the bond tokens were. Now, if I wanted to issue a bond myself, I could come in here to the issue bond section. This would be your stake pool uh, operating public key. Um, so this is that. This just populates your wallet address. It says, it says right here, defaults to stake key of connected wallet. So this would be the stake key that you want to have. Like if you are issuing a bond and you wanted to borrow ADA, this would be where you'd put that stake pool key. You can select the duration. This is the maximum duration. So you don't have to go this long, but it's the only option of 72 epochs. Then you can see we have three options for how much we want to borrow. 500,000 ADA, um, 1 million ADA and one and a half million ADA. And that would be equivalent to 5,000 bond tokens, 10,000 bond tokens and 15,000 bond tokens. Now down here, we can select our interest rate. Um, so this is on like a yearly basis. And then it's just a sliding scale. Obviously, if you bring your weight down here, people aren't gonna lend to your bond and your bond won't be as healthy. Then if you bring away up here, I'm sure everyone would love to get 7% interest year over year return. I don't think you can change your interest buffer, and I think premium is automatically calculated for the 12 epoch. So this is what you'd be paying here, 6 epoch buffer, and this would be your premium of 5,000 ADA. The last thing we have is this advanced option, do not create Opool. This is really not going to be useful for like 90% of us, um, but it's just like more advanced feature where you can use like your own scripts. That's what they were saying in the Discord. So not really pertinent for most people. So that's it. That's basically Optum Finance currently live on the mainnet. Um, they have been audited two times so far, but I would still be cautious, you know. I would definitely think it'd be okay to let this protocol run for like a month or two, sit back and just see what happens as, you know, the protocol goes live and things can work, things cannot work, updates might need to be made. Um, just sit back and watch, but there are two two pools you can watch. You can decide to delegate if you want to. Your ADA will be locked up for the maximum of that 12 months, but you will earn, I think both were at the 5.33% interest on whatever ADA you put in the pool. Going off that, I do think one cool thing to look at would be where these pools are now, and then maybe in a couple months we can come back and look and see how those pools have a, have like grown or adapted based on using Optum Finance. And then like in a year when these bonds expire, we could see like how has pool PSB and pool DTDN, how have they grown? Have they produced more blocks? Have they, you know, are there delegations up? Like what is, what's going on with them? So you can see here we have Silobite, that first one of the pools that you can opt, uh, provide a bond to. They are currently earning about 3.3% rewards. Really, that's pretty right down the line of where you would want to be, uh, especially it, this is a single stake pool operator. Yeah, single small stake pool operator. Currently about 9.6% uh, fully of saturation with 6.79 ADA inside of their pool and 100K pledge. So we can look at this. Uh, you know, they're produced one block last epoch and they have 1% fee. That's pretty good um, as far as, you know, from a card on a delegator standpoint, but we can come back to this in a couple months and see how have these things changed. I really wouldn't expect the rewards to change too much, but I would see like when that bond closes, this number, this 100K ADA should then be, I think they had a million dollar ADA loan. So this would be 1.1 million ADA pledge. Um, I would be curious to see how that affects and see if they get more delegation, more saturation, maybe above the 10% mark.
So this is that other pool that you can uh, provide liquidity to DTDN. Currently have a 100K pledge. So I think they had a one and a half million ADA pledge. So this would be like 1.6 million ADA pledge if their bond gets fully filled. Um, and then, you know, their stake size, uh, if you click right here, you can see the actual number. 0.24% fully saturation, not stake size, I'm sorry, but fully sat but saturation is 0.24%. And then uh, delegators, I was looking at this one as well. Delegators, they only have eight delegators, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight delegators. So I'd be curious to see how these numbers change as these, you know, Optum Finance liquidity bonds theoretically help these stake pools out. If you're looking for a single stake pool, maybe you want to check this one out and lend to it. They probably have a website you can go check out and see what they do. Oh, they run exclusively on solar energy produced and stored locally. Infrastructure is fully redundant, running on premises in two different locations for maximum control and reliability. Thanks to strategic location in Europe, uh, delay uh, propagation delays are extremely fast. That's pretty cool. This this is a stake pool run solely on energy. The stake pool that I the stake pool that I am a part of is Vital. If you're looking for a fun one to donate to, they are. They do stuff with um, climate change. Let's see if I can see. This is the one that I, I donate to. So yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they don't say, but they, they do climate change. You can look them up online on their website. So just to do a quick recap on Optum Finance, uh, a couple of tweets we can look at. Stake pool operator liquidity bonds by Optum Finance Revolutionary. Basically, you can borrow ADA plus the staking rights for a fixed period of time. We saw the 72 epochs, which is about a year. Um, so if you're borrowing that ADA, then you can earn, uh, you will earn the staking re rewards and get to choose where to stake, which would be your stake pool. And then if you're a lender, you can earn yield above like traditional Cardano staking of three and a half, four percent while you're also helping small stake pools decentralize themselves and grow. There's no collateral required. And then if you want to get out of your bond before those 72 epochs are up, you can sell the bond, which is basically like sell your NFT receipt that you're a part of the bond on like a JPEG store or something. Someone else can take the bond over. You might have to take a small loss, but it is tradable in the secondary market. Although I wouldn't, I wouldn't imagine that you can make profit off that because people could like calculate like how much is the the percent and how much will they earn and like what's it worth and stuff so so that's just a quick rundown of optum finance as they release those uh real world asset vaults and strategic vaults i'm really most excited about the strategic vault strategic asset vaults of how they're going to implement other cardano DeFi projects like you know indigo or something and provide like better ways of farming yield and stuff to users but it's still a very new protocol i'd still be cautious and maybe let it sit out for a month or two but it is interesting to watch how we have our first two bonds in the first day and people are already ready as we've done this video three thousand more ada so when we started it was thirty-seven thousand ADA. now it's at 40k ADA locked people are wanting to use this this will really probably help cardano DeFi, and i would not be shocked to see how the cardano DeFi total value locked will grow over time so that's the video that's Optum Finance just released today. That is the D app and that's how you use it. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, drop in the comments, any other projects or any other things you want us to touch on in this channel. Other than that, God bless. See you in the next one.